Well, hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to the airstrip build here in Farming Simulator 17. We got Coffee Pilot, Montessor, Auto, and myself loading up semis with cement that's needed down the way over there, where we're building ourselves a landing strip and whole airfields actually being built. We've got hangars, we've got a security fence, we've got lights, we've got the tarmac and the uh, small little uh, what do you call them, the runways and such to go off the off to the side. The hangars and everything are going to be built. We're going to have some planes here very soon. So if you want to see more of this, if you're excited, folks, get us up to 1,000 likes in the first hour here. Go ahead and clickety-clack that like button, folks. Really appreciate your support. And we'll keep on uh, trucking in with the uh, entertainment. Each one of those trucks is carrying a video. So hopefully they make it to the front there, guys. Um, I love making these videos. These are a ton of fun. These construction projects are great. And Otto himself, by the way, did make his own map that we'll be using very soon. So please check out Otto and Encrypted Pilot and Shrike and Whiskey and everyone else who joins us in Farming Simulator for their videos as we're all teaming up together. And also, make sure you click the subscribe button so you know when our next video goes up, as well as clicking that notification button. That little bell uh, down there at the bottom or up at the top of the main channel is uh, how you'll know we go live. You'll get a notification, and for those of you always wanting to watch this live, it's the best way to make sure you never miss a show. Boys, I'm trucking in with the uh, last load of the uh, this... Uh, I guess this uh, round, boy, we, how much concrete do you, or cement do you think we put down on this field so far? We each at hold... At least four, four, four pounds. At least four pounds, yeah. It's, oh, a, li yeah. it's a little Way. bit more than four pounds. Look at this. So we got I ourselves a... Uh, if you want to hear it. Well, hold on a second. We've got, like, uh, at least, like, 16 truckloads, I think, each. We've, we've probably been doing this for a while. Actually, we've got to clean up the edges of our airfield a little bit. But uh, we're going all the way down field nine here. And off to the right is where we're going to build some of our construction facility, or well, our airfield facilities, such as the uh, the hangars and such. Now, uh, what do you estimate there, uh, pilot, on our uh, deliveries here? What do you think, like? Estimation of approximate current volume of concrete ton drop in tonnage is approximately it's about 13 tons so far. Approximately, spread. okay, 13 so tons. Yeah, at least four pounds. Yeah, so at least four pounds. You were right in that estimation. Boy, I did a bad job there, but luckily we got the JCBs. Pilot's going to be doing a little cleanup at the ends. But the compressor should be able to push everything down, and Encrypted's picking off the top. So it is actually looking very good. If you if you see here, it does look a little moundy, but uh, after a while, things are really starting to shape up nicely. It's not going to be perfect. We don't have any pavers that we can use for the cement or anything like that. So this is just the good old way of doing it as we're trying to upgrade the uh, local airstrip and really make an airfield out of it. All right, I assume you boys are ready for some more uh, delivery. Pilot, are you just sitting there or are you actually in a vehicle? I think you're glitched. Are you? I'm in JCB. Oh, yeah, you're in a J Yeah, it says you're just, it looks like you're just standing there, but I know you're out there working. I saw you drive by in the JCB. <laughs> it's tricking us. It's making us think that you're not doing it. You're, Pilot's so lazy. You're so lazy, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, uh, speaking of airfields, I would like to know everyone's favorite airplane down below in the comments section. Do you have an uncle or something that owns an actual airplane? Do you have a favorite Navy plane, such as the F-18 or the A-10 Warthog, or maybe even a helicopter, anything that flies? Let us know what your favorite is down below. I think mine would probably be hot air balloon. I would like to go in a hot air balloon. Have you guys ever been in a hot air balloon yet in life? Yes. Oh, you have. Coffee has. Coffee, they tell, are wonderful. tell us all about it. What would you do? Did you go to, like, Colorado or something, see the mountains? No, no, they have a little hot air balloon thing down in North Carolina about Ooh. 20 years back. It was a lot of fun. So you get to, like, ride in it and then just follow the wind and land? How do you get yeah, picked up? Like, a, a van just picks you up or something? And get back well, to your no, car? It uses uh, fuel to uh, launch you up into the sky. Mm hmm. All right, but then eventually it has to go somewhere, right? Like, it follows the wind currents. Oh, yeah, balloon. exactly. Yep, it follows the wind currents. So then you just you end up where you end up, and that's it, huh? Yep, yeah, and you just slowly let up the air from the top. Uh, you'll start your descent back down. Ooh, I like that. We need an okay. That's what we need. We need a hot air balloon show at our at our airport too, and then we can do a classic plane show. Like we can have a bunch of P fifty one Mustangs and old bombers from World War two, and then just a, a, a lot of nice planes like Cess. I like tw uh, twin engine Cessnas. Those are the coolest looking. Man, that's gonna be really cool. We can go on a we can go on a vacation. We can get out of here and we can go to like you know Des Moines or something somewhere fun. Nothing wrong with Iowa, guys. You go to Montessor, you Iowa. need to stay on the roads. Montessor, take the road, my friend. You're, oh my gosh, you are just, you're just a havoc 
you're a deadly roller today. We need to. It's called going fast. Yeah, right? well, you gotta. You, you gotta if you go. want to keep that class, if you want to keep that class A, you better drive nice. All right, class so class A. I'm going. To, I'm going for class F. Well, maybe you should be class E rather than class A. All right, so folks, if you want to download any of these mods, including the Kenworth or the Mac or any of the uh, compressors that you saw out there, uh, or compactors, I should say. Um, JCBs and such are vanilla, but if you want to download any of this stuff, again, check down below in the description, too, and always feel free to join us on our TeamSpeak. Uh, that's pretty much how uh, Pilot and uh, Auto and everyone else came, and of course, you show up for Farming Simulator, and we play much more. I'd like to do Construction Simulator sometime soon, but I guess we're kind of simulating that right now, even though it's a very easy job. Uh, we got some of the equipment here, too, by the way, with those F-350 uh, power, power Strokes, uh, 2016 edition is what, what that's under, so... Um, yeah, all right. So, I, so uh, uh, by the way, Pilot, did you did you say the folks over at the FCC want us to cut down these trees or not? Nah? If we can confirm out what's the end of the, the field, we should be good. Oh, we should be good. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's not a hard job to cut down some trees and haul them off. We can have ourselves a bonfire. We can have uh, one of Montasaur's favorites, which is uh, s'mores. You like you like s'mores, Montasaur? No. You don't? What? <laughs> oh, you're just, you're just teasing. You don't like, like, a nice, delicious Hershey's... Uh, you know, bar with uh, some marshmallow on it or something like that. Now you just triggered all the Europeans because you said Hershey. Oh, right. Well, I mean, that's what we do over here, but I mean, I guess you can have it with anything, really. I have it with that Bosnian. Is there a cocoa. Bosnian cocoa? Bosnian chocolate? I wouldn't yeah. mind that. You know what I should do is get a P.O. box for all of our fans to send us little uh, different types of chocolates and snacks and stuff, and I'll test them out. That'd be really fun. Other YouTubers do that. I think it would just be a great way to just taste some other... Sweden has great chocolate. Germany. Well, most of Europe has some... I've tried some British chocolate. Very good. I've tried... Uh, what is it exactly? I forget. It's uh, Cadbury, I believe. No, not Cadbury. I, I, I can't remember what it was now. But it was very good. All right. So we all, once we're done here, we're going to level everything out. It's looking very good. Uh, but in time, we're going to level that whole runway out. Look, It looks a little meh right now. I mentioned British chocolate, and Montasaur starts driving on the left. Montasaur, you are the new Daniel, aren't you? Oh boy. What? Who's Daniel? Okay. You don't. You remember Daniel, Daniel Von Vatu? <laughs> you know. That's your Sir idol. Sir Giggles a lot. Sir Giggles, yeah. Oh my goodness. And then, and then you ask him why he's laughing, and all it does is uh, triggers more laughing. What does it say on the back of this truck, by the way? Right here on the trailer. It says Maximizer. Oh my god. Okay, I got you. Maximizer. That's... That's a funny joke there, guys. All right, first truck is loading yeah, up. because it's on a Kenworth. All right, so if you want to download any of these, we're also using it on a limited uh, cement mixer, which uh, lo loads up rock, dirt, sand, concrete, cement, asphalt, and all that for your building needs. It is unlimited, and then you can use these trucks to haul it around. And this is placeable, so it does work this way. Unfortunately, though, the host, in this case me, does have to trigger the loading, so I do have to kind of continue with the trucks time and time again and as you see we need a lot of concrete a whole lot of concrete so uh you know a whole lot of flooring is basically all it's going to take right Montessor? a little icy today yep. okay all right he's ready for the next uh there we go convoys rolling through this is really good working with three trucks we need to get some more people to assist us with deli delivery actually any more might be too much for the compactors to actually to actually use so maybe this is just enough oh i guess i flipped this thing the wrong way that yeah, doesn't matter it should be it, it could be used from either side Oh yeah, there you go. So this is the uh, the whole control system for the uh, the silo. Wow. I'm just gonna floor it when two, it's done. Two ladders here. Oh, now Montessor drive safely and responsibly. Don't you want to drive safely and responsibly, Montessor? What? You know, I wonder if at this point, if the folks are watching, if they've seen our Dino Diner series, by the way. If those of you who are watching are familiar with our other series where we're building a diner and uh, using a farm to actually uh, get all the food and everything needed there. You guys can give us a shout-out over there as well. And uh, you can get shout-outs from us, too, by the way, when we live stream, as I would mentioned, clicking that bell and everything, too. I'd love to see some more people show up. What's up, Pilot? You want to drive this one over? Yeah, I was very excited to some time on this. All right, yeah, let's trade. Work. Yeah, I've been doing this enough. I only just drive the trucks to help out the boys, but yeah, I gotta get some compacting time. It's compacting time. Here we go. Lizard MW compactor, ready to rock, and uh, we're gonna just lower some of the uh, big bumps here in our runway. Boy, it's uh, <laughs> Montessori. Could you imagine? Uh, we're landing in Gold uh, Gold Crest Valley. It's gonna be a little icy, so uh, get on your seatbelts. <laughs> wow. Uh, they didn't send out the things to dry the runway, so uh, we're gonna have a nice land. These noobs are building an airfield, folks. So uh, watch out. Local time is they, a tragedy. They didn't even get a government contract. 
Oh, this is it. Blow off when you land. Once we get enough concrete down, I think all we have to do is we could get some more rollers and just roll this thing out completely. I mean, this is almost like Zamboni driving now. I mean, I, I, I'm just kind of filling in some holes by just driving over it with the, uh, with the compactor. I mean, this is all we're doing is we're kind of just spreading it all out now. Oh, yeah, there you go. Ooh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I'd just like you to know that we're currently flying over a uh, foreign country, and I did not <laughs> contact their version of the FAA, so we are going to have some fighter pilots on ourselves in a couple of seconds. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing, Minus. <laughs> ready for a refill. Roger that. Coming over right away. I'll be ready yeah. for one soon. I'm coming fast. Likewise with myself. Oh, I was in the right truck. All right, time for cement. Here we go. One loading up. And somebody else is probably on the way, right? Oh, yeah. Montessor's up next. All right. Montessor, by the time you get here, while driving safely and responsibly, obeying, obeying all city, state, federal uh, laws. There are no federal laws for driving. Yeah, there are. No, they're not. Oh, yeah? Yes, there are. Wh what do you think about the federal highway system? Have you ever heard of the interstate? Who do you think commands that? State. <laughs> the, <laughs> the state. Is it, don't you think? Well, okay. You mean state government level, yes. Yeah, okay. state government level. The state. Interstate. Yeah, that's true. But there are still, like, federal mandates on stuff. I mean, what do you think the NTSB is? Got you there, uh, Montessor. Got you there. Uh, trans Na NTSB stands for National... Uh, is it Travel Safety Board? Or Transportation Board, I think it is. Yeah, all they do that is set standards for vehicles. I don't it's know. the Transportation Board. Okay, well, you know what? All right. Encrypted Pilot, just tell me I'm right. I got you right. It's, it's National Transportation. Okay, see? Fast. All right, Sonic oh. the Hedgehog. We should have made that thing blue. We should have made it orange for Tails. Tails is slower. All right, Pilot's up next. All right, cement's loading in. Okay, I'm going back to the runway now. Actually, maybe I'll... Uh, I'm going to actually tighten up the uh, the edge of the, the field here with the um, JCB. I love the wheel loader. That's I like the tracks, but I don't like the cage around it. I know there's uh, modded ones that allow you to drive the this one with just the uh, with with just the the tracks which is nice all right so in a perfect world we would be using pavers on this and everything but this is about the best we can do with the the equipment that we've got so I uh, gotta give you guys a lot of credit you guys are really doing nicely on this I didn't say icy monster I said nicely a little icy there guy. It's a, it's a, done a little nicely oh man that makes me want to watch Fargo now have you ever seen Fargo monster it's Fargo. Oh boy, we've got a lot to teach you, my child. So much to teach. All right, this what, edge is Fargo, looking nice. North Carolina? No, no, that Fargo's in uh, North Dakota. Isn't there? Oh. All right, let's do this, boys. Um, what about what about we all uh, park the trucks back at the uh, good at the, um, the at the loading zone? Oh, by the way, uh, yeah, we got. Oh boy, we got a ton of money. Everyone's gonna be mad at us, like usual. Uh, federal grant. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, if we could all grab a compactor and maybe flatten this out a little bit, it'll help us to find out where we need uh, more uh, truckloads to be delivered. So, if, Montessor, if you want to drive over to the silo, once you guys are all done, uh, just drive over to the silo, get ready to load up again, and then everybody just grab a compactor or a JCB and uh, tighten up the edges, and uh, we'll just start compacting for a little bit. And if we need to bring a compactor over... <laughs> If we need to bring a compactor over, you guys can just uh, pick one up with the uh, Ford F-350s if you want to. And uh, I think we each trailer can hold about, what, one? One, uh, do you think, coffee? One compactor per truck? Yep, one compactor per truck. All right, roger that. These are nice. These compactors are really nice. Now, obviously, we would want to be using a, a smooth one as well, but again, we're just at the limitation of the... Uh, modding community and such and not to mention with the airfield this you don't want to go anything smaller than this this is pretty much what you'd want to use uh, for that yeah it is you know what I'd really like to see being used uh, is one of those World War II uh, bulldozers that they use to make airfields in like the Pacific Theater those are really cool looking oh this is really looking great wow we did we did a great job so far it's gonna be a little bumpy but that's okay you know, guys, we're up to Zaire level of air, aircraft quality right now. With our, we should have our own Gold Crest Valley Airlines, guys. It'll be Man, better this than... Is, this would pass for a good airfield in Somalia. Yeah. This is this is high-level stuff right here. This is an international airport over there. A absolutely. Hey, we can have an international airport, too. In fact, we're so close to the border of, uh, like, Canada that literally on the other side of the trees, you know, that's what makes us international. If you get off the... If you actually lift off from the runway, you're in uh, you're in Canadian territory, which technically makes us an international airport. What would we call our airlines? 
Rap raptastic air. There, that's perfect. What do we what do we serve? What's our <laughs> snacks, Montessor? What what snacks would you like on a uh, on a flight? Well, what? I mean, we obviously have to serve granola. I mean, that's oh, a good Oh right, one. yes, complimentary granola, right? Now I'm a big fan of burgers. I'm a burger aficionado. Ooh, I want there I don't to be know. some sort of burger on the airplane. I don't know, man. Do you really want a hamburger on an airplane? That I sounds... do want it. I want our pilots. To that be bun able... is going to be so soggy. That that's that sounds like a, the worst decision. I want the captain to take the order. Oh wow! Oh wow! So he le you want him to leave the the cockpit or the flight yes. deck as it's known, and uh, just come back and, like with a scratch pad and just like. Do you want him in like the the thing? You know, like the. Yeah, you he want is the face of our airline. He needs to. Oh wow. And you want him to just make contact with the people, like what they're now. Do you want him doing the cooking too? Wow, the pilots will do everything. That's what will save us money. Perfect. There we go. All right. Now, uh, encrypted pilot, do you know how to cook a little bit? I do, but I can kind of save my special cooking skills for a special lady. Montessori, you mean? He's a lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa actually, she's a lady. Oh, go on. Actually, I'm with this really wonderful girl over in the United Kingdom. So. Oh, really? Yeah. It, the queen? Yeah, everyone loves her. She's German, she, by the way. She's a gamer who she has farm sim, but she likes the headset. What? You've got a girl that we can play farming sim with, like Whiskey's uh, fiance, and no, she we've not even played with her yet. We gotta get Whiskey's fiance on here to do some farming. We but gotta get that girl on a uh, on a chainsaw, cut down some trees. And we were actually, I, I was, I I was playing with her on the, the new Ghost Recon Wildlands on my PS4. Mm -hmm. I'm out there, my third screen to my right of me. Unfortunately, trying to balance between the two is not very easy. <laughs> uh huh. Now she's a sniper class, I understand. Uh, yeah, she sniped my ass. She, she's long range, uh, long range support. Okay. Yeah. All right. That that sounds good. Women are very patient snipers, from what I hear. She'd be perfect for that, then. I guess. All right. That's what I hear. All right. Enough about sniping and wildlands. We've got to get this. Uh... Well, look at this, guys. We, we're actually really close to being done. I think. If we get some more semis to deliver on this side here. And then just maybe if we get one more line on the right side, and then maybe one and a half on. Oh man, this is gonna be really good. Yeah, we're really close here. All right, should we do some more concrete delivery now? I think we're running. We we've we've gotten some of the bumps out of here. Airs need to speed up for speeding. All right, so you keep uh, smoothing out there, then pilot. I keep chasing this thing till it's flat. Perfect. That'll do. All right, trucks are ready to go again. All right, boys, I'm loading up the first semi. So somebody can come on over and run on this first one. And then just let me know when you're full, and I'll uh, put the next one under, or you, whatever you guys want to do. All right, the tidying up of the edges is very good, guys. We did a really good job on these edges. Kudos to you all. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Perfect. It's nice to just drive the, uh, get that straight, clean edge with the JCB, isn't it? Yep. My friends call me straight edge. Oh, really? Yeah. Montessori just driving around on the tarmac. That's great. Yeah, again, it's not going to be perfect, but uh, I think this is about as good as we're going to get, you know, once we're done. I'm, I'm going to really like the look of it. I guarantee it. All right, so we can drive over this with solid steel axles. That mm -hmm. will be just fine. All right, I'm loading up the next truck with concrete. Or cement in this uh, case. Now, does anyone... Coffee, can you explain to me the difference between concrete and cement? Do you know the difference? Is there there must uh, be a big difference, right? The color. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm sure there's more to it. I'm sure... Because I thought, from what it I understood, the same way. cement was more for foundation building and, and concrete was... I don't know. I actually don't know, so someone will have to explain it to us you, down in the comment I section. Think, actually, Raptor. I think, what's up? I think it uh, deals with the rock that is actually. Yes, that is a that is a good point. Um, speaking of auto, if you want to you want to get the semi in front of me, you want to tab over and drive one quickly, auto. Uh, okay, I'm driving come, one back now. Oh, you're driving one right now. Oh, somebody yeah. come come on over, Montessori. You got something to do? Uh, I'm I'm fixing the edges. All right, well I'll I'm be gonna. Back there in a second. Yeah, oh. Wait, someone's here now. Oh, coffee's here. Perfect. He's driving that Vampia. one off. Roger that. Very nice. And we're good.
good. Oh, perfect. And Otto's coming up right behind me with the next one. Okay, Otto. There's one for you. You like the foreman over here loading everybody up? I guess so. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one qualified to push the button on the on the silo machine, even though everyone yeah. else has their class A or, you know, in Otto's case, military clearance or whatever, and uh, encrypted pilot flies planes. Uh, I'm the only one who can push the concrete uh, or the cement mixer button, guys. Which, by the way, we've uh, we're just saying that it's being delivered by the train, so it's kind of part of the rail yard, I suppose. Which is a very good, a very convenient for it all to be over here. Very nice. I feel like Raptor would be that one sad manager, you know, that's just like, man, you guys did all this cool stuff, but I'm gonna push that button there. And you guys can't push that button. Well, I'm, that's exactly what's happening now. You guys are not allowed to push that button. Mostly because that's just the way the mod's set up. Oh, look at that, man. Smooth. Go, Coffee. Go, man. Right there on the edge. Perfect. Coffee's a man on the edge. Look at that. Man, these are the perfect trucks for this. These are just perfect, man. All right, nicely done. More compactors coming out. I want to drive one of those. All right, when you guys are ready, let me know for the, the additional cement. So, uh, yeah, Coffee, if you just keep driving up this side like this, you're probably going to have this done what four passes name that tune do you think you can do it in four passes or three passes oh wow he doesn't have much to four go passes. you think four would do it i bet four is gonna be perfect yeah yeah because you did you the one that you just dropped off was that all the way from the edge from the starting point to where you ended uh or? no that was i was like i was filling in a couple spots that were missed gotcha okay it wasn't a true link the link Wow, Otto's actually being helpful too by driving over the concrete as well. Yeah, since we don't have a paver, we gotta kind of you know make do with what we got. But eventually, this will be a full airstrip, and we'll uh, you know just pretend as if it's uh, good enough. That's that's what farming sims all about. Obviously, you can't really technically go camping. You can only just drive a camper out to the woods. I mean, you have to simulate that you're actually camping. I mean, that's kind of what it's all about. Yeah, it's a simulator. Yeah, it's not 110 uh, percent, but it gets real close. Just Next like. Rig is up. Oh, right. Roger that. Just out of curiosity, we're off camera now, aren't we? No. Oh, really? Yep. Long episode. <laughs> no, this is our second part of our uh, Tarmac series, by the way. There we go. Alright, that one's filling up there. Otto, you can pull up to that one. Well, you got somewhere to be there, pilot? Up in the air, I bet, huh? You're, you're yeah. probably get, getting eager to fly. Oh, that's yeah. Pinto. Alright. Yeah, Alright, oh, Pinto. Where is he? Probably in Japan, I don't know. Yeah, probably. He's just like every other day. Yeah, I think I'm just going to roll over to Italy on board. <laughs> okay, Pinto, bye. <laughs> I can't stop. I no, gotta he's keep going. I want to buy I want to buy him he's a Rat Pack shirt and just like have him in the I got to go t-shirt and just have him in front of the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Tokyo Tower. Uh yeah, he's, he's playing another he's playing Arma. Oh, is he? Yeah, he just keep on me. I was in the middle of laying concrete, and someone drove right in front of me, and I couldn't stop. <laughs> oh, Montessori. Drive to the I side, my friend. I did not mean to. Oh, you're, get, you're getting a bad influence from Daniel. That's what it is. Daniel, if you're do, watching... I did not mean to do it. I was, was it I a little... Even, I didn't even how, look both What ways. was the ice like? Was it a little icy? It wasn't about ice. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I... <laughs> oh, it's okay. Because you're on ice, Dylan. Man, look at this. And you're, and you're on, guys. Hey, dear oh, guys. Hey. Oh. All right, let's At least see. I'm sticking around like tar. Nice, Otto. Very good. All right, the concrete still rolling in. Anybody ready at the uh, silo for more uh, switch yep, up? Yeah, going up. Roger. All right, I'll get this other semi in place, and then we're good. Can we put the? the we could put a cover on these when we roll out, right? Yep. You can. Oh, we can. Very cool. We can be the Autobots, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coffee, when you roll out, uh, if you could kindly park that other semi under there, and then I'll just come over and hit the button, and then someone else can drag it off. All right. I'm going to keep on... Uh... Yeah, I was wondering, if we put both the trailers back to men, would it load them at the same time? I Probably don't not. know. I think it might only pick one at a time. I'm not sure. There's a lot of work, though, to back those trailers up. Those are not an easy task, those things. I'll pull the next one up, Coffee. Well, at least one thing we do have is a very concrete solution. Yeah, we got a lot of... We got a lot... Oh, Leo. He's stealing my joke opportunities. <laughs> well, we gotta have a solid plan to do this. Absolutely. 
we're ready over here. Right? This is really looking good. I wish we could draw lines and everything on here. Not all airfields have lines. Yeah, we could draw, uh, put, you know, the, the center strip or something down there. But uh, definitely we're going to get some lighting up and some fencing around here. Plus, we've got uh, ourselves the ability to put down hangers under placeables. We do have the ability to put down some cones and also what we're going to put down the storage tunnels, which should simulate, as you can see, the hangers like such as over here. We will get ourselves some aircraft eventually. Uh, obviously, we well, without the airfield being finished, we really it's a little too hard for us to have uh, aircraft out if we don't have a, you know, finished runway, so... This is looking real good, boys. Real good stuff. Coffee coming in for yet another uh, another delivery here. What's that one, Coffee? Number three, four on that side? This is three. Three, okay. So it's probably going to take about eight, I think, for you to get up there. Oh, wow, you're coming real far. Ooh. All right, there you go. That was the end of that one. Yeah, you're, it's going to take a few, but... All right, there we go. This is really nice. Very cool stuff. Oh, the mirrors on this uh, roller work as well. Very nice. Got a couple fire extinguishers on it, too. Very cool stuff. Hi there, pilot. How's it going? Good. I see you just rolling over there with excitement. Uh, I'm just rolling. Coffee, and you could probably do it at the speed of 7. Yeah, I put it up to 7. Yeah. I'm going maximum speed in this roller, a whopping 6. Thank God we uh, brought these things over here on the uh, trucks, huh? We would have just been yeah. arriving now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you got to do, a big load up. We should we probably uh, get some more. Well, we'll need some more truck drivers or something in the future, but uh, the uh, whole slow process is me actually going over to the uh, loader over yeah, to the silo. Oh, crops just grew over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's popped up on the screen. Yep, that's oh, the sound crop. Roger that. Hey, look right. at this water over here. Is this safe to drink? No, don't. <laughs> I mean, yes. Go ahead, Monosaur. This vehicle is a submarine, right? It's safe to float. Alright, coffee's in the first semi there. We've got this down to, like, a science. We've got uh, we've got the whole loading process ready to rock. Like, this is great. Monosaur, you're probably coming up behind me, right? Pretty soon? What? Are you uh, unloading with the semi right now? No, I'm... I'm oh, who's in the other semi? Stuff. Auto. Oh, auto. Okay. All right. All right. Coffee's on his way out. I'm up. Cement loading. What All are right. we gonna do with the excess? Just jump it, drop it in the lake. Well, with the excess, if well, we probably won't have much excess. We can, uh, when we're almost done, we could probably drive around and spill, uh, you know, dump a, a few spots here and there, and try to just, uh, you know. Get things as as level as possible, which is going to be, you know, we're not going to do it 100%, but we'll get very close, and then any extra concrete we could, or cement we can put uh, towards the edges of the taxiways, and then we can also put down some asphalt. So this is going to be a big series, I think, and a nice break. Uh, you know, have, we're actually having celebrities come into town. Uh, this is one town over from our other, our other server, so we're having, you know, Tom Hanks and, uh, you know, Michael like Madsen and... Uh, Robert De Niro, they're all coming in for the opening of the Dino Diner, so, you know, I mean, it's going to be a famous place. Uh, who else Who else would you guys want there? Uh, let's see, Keanu Liam Reeves. Oh, Liam Neeson, that'd be a good one. Uh, of course, we got to make sure his daughter has protection. John Stewart, we could have, or, I mean, Patrick Stewart, yeah. that's what I mean. Patrick Stewart, Star Trek, you know, Picard. Who, yeah. who's, the, who's the guy who plays Q? Oh, that guy. Um, he is amazing. That guy is cool. Yeah, I forget his name. He's a good. He's a very good actor. I don't know who plays Q. If anybody knows who played Q in Star Trek, let us know down below. But that is it for today's episode, folks. We'll see you all next time very soon as we continue to uh, probably in the next episode finish up things on the runway. We'll have all the uh, holes filled in. We got all this concrete arriving and everything, so, or cement in this case. So we'll have the airfield finished off and flattened. We'll go ahead and start adding our taxiways over to the uh, green uh, area over there. We should also find ourselves a, a control tower, boys. So we'll get a control tower up last. We'll get our Cessna out here, and we'll get our hangars down, and the airport will be open for business. Eh, it'll probably be a couple episodes, but it'll be good. The longer it takes, the better, folks. you got more to watch. So, again, if you like this one, folks, go ahead and get us up to 1,000 likes then within the first hour, and we'll be happy to oblige with much more entertainment. Say goodbye, boys. See ya. Hey, goodbye. Bye. Bye.